welcome back to another YouTube video. It is Stephanie Sanzo here, and today I'm going to be taking you through a shoulders and arms workout. I'm having one of those uh, busy weeks where I feel like I've done some big muscle groups, but now I've got all the little stuff left to do. Um, so that's going to be today, and I'm going to take you along through that process with me so that you can save this if you are um, someone who is in a hurry or you just need to do an upper body workout real quick or you need some or you need some new ideas. So um, before I jump full throttle into the workout, I'm gonna do some quick warm ups to get some blood into the muscle and then we'll get going hardcore, let's go. So in today's workout, I'm going to be doing a heavy compound movement first. This is going to be the barbell shoulder, bar, the seated barbell shoulder press. That's a handful. So I'm going to do that first, and then I'll move on to some lighter stuff throughout the end of the workout. Uh, I really like this one because it makes me feel like a badass when I'm handling big, big girl weights. <laughs> Those are big boy weights, but. Hey, there's some strong, strong, strong chicks out there these days. So um, now we're gonna say big girl weight. So now I'm in the middle of doing my seated dumbbell Arnold press. I like to do some dumbbell work after my heavy barbell work. What I like to do with this one is, before jumping straight into heavies, is uh, do it like two warm-up sets. So I'll go like seven, three, five, ten kilos, and then I'll do my working set after that. Uh, you want to make sure that you're warm before you jump straight into it. Um, so I find that primes me really well. But then again, there's that other side as well, where you don't want to do too many warm-up sets and then you've got no energy for your big sets. So, um, you know, keep it keep it light moving into it and then do your heavies. But yeah, don't exhaust yourself too much doing all those warm-ups. Oh, I thought the chair wasn't there. <laughs> Freaks me right out. Uh, with this workout so I'm gonna be doing some cables and things like that uh, just to hit the shoulders I'm gonna be making sure that I'm hitting all three heads of the deltoid uh, just to finish things off Feeling like a 
rockstar, cause tonight I'm getting out of line and it's alright. Feeling like a, uh, uh, feeling like a, uh, uh, just as good as John Wayne and his movies. Feeling like I'm James Dean and I know it. Feeling like a, uh, uh, feeling like a, feeling like a rockstar. Feeling like a rockstar. Feeling like a rockstar. Now that I have finished my shoulder work, I'm going to move on to my arms. Earlier on in this video, I mentioned that I was going to do a quicker workout today, uh, so I'm going to be doing lots of supersets to get this done quickly, uh, which is going to make it harder for me because there's a lot of muscle burn and you've just got to kind of endure it um, and not give up during the process because it's supposed to be uncomfortable and this is what it's all about. So let's get it. So Jamie just asked me if I've got anything inspiring to say and I was like, nah. But then I thought, actually no, because when I worked, walked into this session today, was I vibing or not? No, she was not vibing. Why was I not vibing? Because it's nearly that time of the month. Not only that though, because what I did was actually I was scrolling on my phone in the car, like on TikTok, on Instagram, just aimlessly scrolling, not even thinking, not even conscious what I was doing. And I was seeing things that were upsetting me or I was getting jealous of, and I was just getting myself in a really negative state. And so I came in here and you were like, what are we filming today? I was like, oh, you know, just arms, oh, like really low vibes. And then as I got into it and started like focusing on the job at hand, like the training, uh, my whole demeanor just changed. I was able to like, filter out the negative and just focus on being strong in my own race and focus on myself instead of trying to involve everything that's going on in the world, you know, in my world, if that makes sense. So what's the advice? The advice is don't bloody sit all day on your phone scrolling, comparing yourself to everybody. Or even if you're not on your phone, you're in a workplace or with your friends and you're comparing yourself to their journey, it's just run your own race. Like it's not worth it. It's not worth getting in a negative state. Uh, it doesn't you know, do you any justice, it doesn't get you any further ahead. Um, just focus on you and make sure that you do, I guess, have goals. Uh, there's no point doing life and not having any, um, anything that you want to achieve or any, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Um, it's so not helpful. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. I think the message is that you can either watch or help other people achieve their goals or go out and take action and achieve your own goals. That's great. But in order to do that, you have to set goals. Otherwise, you'll just watch everyone else around you do things that maybe you wish you were doing. And there's no reason why you can't do it yourself. There's no reason why you can't have your dream house or have your dream job or do a career that you never thought would make you money. Like, just go and do what you're passionate about and take the risk. You know, I didn't think I'd be doing this for a living. 
that's for sure. And doing this and just being consistent and showing up every day in the gym and putting in the hard yards has opened up doors to other things in my life. Like now we have a clothing brand, we're bringing out like um, a training site and like all these things are happening all because we dedicated, because you, you train yourself, like to one thing that's good for us, but it's hard for us. So if you're all living your life right now and it's just easy and you're cruising, maybe it's time to challenge yourself. You know, what are you doing that's hard? Because hardship equals success, results, or it can take you under. <laughs> but it depends your mindset on things, but you want to be challenged so you can grow. Growth only happens through overcoming resistance, right? That's not even just resistance training. That's like full life resistance. Okay, life, life is gym, hun. <laughs> anyway, yeah, gym so that, that's my uh, little piece of inspiration. You know, don't, do not get on your phone and get yourself in a negative state before you come into the gym or even just before you go to work, which is already probably hard enough as it is. Just don't do it to yourself. Just focus on you and your race and your, the task at hand. And uh, I think that your vibes will be a lot higher. And that's a wrap with my upper body day. I hope you like what you saw. Um, please drop a comment below if you have any questions about what you saw today or if you've got any questions about anything. I'm always on there and replying to your comments. I see them and I appreciate them. So thank you. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And other than that, have a great week and I'll see you on the next video.